So while I'm waiting on parts, I took a little diversion here. Um, took all the foam out the back hips, or the stern here. Um, I've got to replace the transom board, and it occurred to me that it is riveted. These are one inch, either brazier heads or round head rivets. Um, I think they're B grade. I'm trying to get some B grade rivets. Anyway, so looking at it, there's those angle brackets. The board's all clamped in there. The skirts back there all clamped into it. So basically all this aluminum through all of here and here and probably this in the live well kind of has a combination of these to all come out. Um, I'm a little worried about the corner braces here. These are welded, but I think it's possible to get this all out. I think that tray will come out. I believe that's why these bins are here. I was wondering what that is. I think somebody had to manhandle this out, so I'll probably be able to get it out too. I do have to unbolt that plate. I did notice this is stainless on aluminum. Um, there's possibilities of galvanic corrosion, but I don't see any powder here, so hopefully if I get up in here at this, the stress point, it's not mashed together and rusted out, but that being said, it's just the transom. If I have to fix it or replace aluminum, I can do that. Um, this is turning... <laughs> This is a little scary at first, to be honest. I was like, oh God, rivets. But the more I look at it, you just need a pneumatic impact and um, or hammer, pneumatic impact hammer and a bucking weight, which is basically just a big chunk of metal on the other side. And um, yeah, kind of neat to learn a new skill. Kind of exciting that I'm kind of, I mean, it's a lot of work, but it's also kind of exciting that to get to go that far into the boat um, and just kind of rework it. And it, it kind of pushes me over the hill of, well, I don't want to take that out because I got to take it out. so. I'd be more inclined to do something a little different back here. Anyway, it's just a little bit of a status update.